What's going on guys, KDG here, back with another video for the City of Final Fantasy Opera Omnia. And in today's video, we're gonna be discussing Final Fantasy Type Zero's Lightning Knuckler 8. So 8, he's an amazing melee unit that can dish out tons of damage while at the same time, you know, able to avoid and counterattack with his amazing uh, evasion debuff, break sight blow. I'll go in more detail on this, on his abilities as well, as we get to him. But I'm super, super excited that he's finally making his way over to the global version of the game, because he was one of my units my first unit, to be exact, in the JP version of the game that I actually had realized, or EX+, Plus, however you want to say, guys. So I was able to clear so much content after adding him to the party. And the guy just excels in everything thrown at, thrown at him. Unless, obviously, the bosses are re uh, resistant to melee damage. But, you know, hey, it's going to be down the line, but <laughs> it happens. But for now, let's take a look at 8's actual kit and what he brings to the tape. So as always, thank you Rem for supplying the community with a breakdown of his kit and stats. Um, I will leave a link to Rem's website, the City of DB, in the description box below, guys. If you guys are new to the game or veterans to the game and just kind of want to know the stats of certain characters, this is a great resource for you guys to go um, check out everything. Um, but definitely, definitely check it out, guys. Like I said, it's a great resource for the community. Thank you once again, Rem. So looking at the stats table upon his release, we can see that 8 excels at max brave, speed, and initial brave. And he has a moderate attack and HP stat, which is pretty good. His base value stats 1170 are as follows though. So HP 5,319 to 11,365. Initial Brave 2,205 to 4,115. Max Brave 4,140 to 11,299. Attack 840 to 3,133. And Defense 837 to 3,398. So keep in mind guys, these are 8's base stats, and depending on the passives and gear that you have equipped, the max values will definitely vary. Also quick side note, in comparison to other melee attackers, uh, such as, you know, Noel, uh, Noctis, uh, Squall, Cloud, etc. Um, his, his attack and defense stats at base value, they're, they're kind of low in comparison. Uh, but he makes it back up with his speed and the amount of break that he can dump during his HP attacks as well as his counter attacks. Which, in my opinion, I think kind of balances them out as a, as a unit. So for the purpose of this video, and since 8 is a new unit coming to the global version of the game, I will only be covering his skill 1, skill 2, EX, and Crystal Passives 55, 60, and 70. Those are pretty much the bread and butter of him once you actually get um, his stats already up to level 50 at least. Um, but everything else is pretty much the same if you think about it, guys. Um, but these are going to be where he stands up the most. So 8 skill 1 is Quick Bolt Stance. Which is a melee brave plus HP attack that raises brave based on attack before attacking. It also grants a quick bolt for four turns. So while quick bolt is active, it turns eight's brave and HP attack into their plus variants. So for example, his brave attack becomes an eight hit melee brave attack when it's in his plus variant, and his HP attack becomes a one hit melee brave plus HP attack. So while quick bolt and last stand are active, and we're going to get to last stand in just a moment, his HP attack and HP attack plus become lightning speed jab. And lightning speed jab is a melee brave plus HP attack for you guys. Just for you, for you guys to know. And then quick bolt also will also raise eight's max brave attack and his speed. All right. So eight crystal level fifty five will greatly enhance the skill. However, we'll talk more about this a little bit later in the video. I don't want to rush and uh, kind of jump back and forth and everything. But eight skill two is indomitable rush, which is a four hit melee brave plus HP attack, which grants last stand for three turns. And the last stand buff. Uh, while it is a great benefit, also comes at a price, <laughs> okay? For one, it raises 8's max brave and attack while at the same time making 8 take more brave and HP damage that are dealt to him. But he does have an invasion buff that's going to pretty much make him untouchable. So don't fret just because you see that, all right? Um, if you do have Quick Bolt active and use Indomitable Rush to grant yourself last stand, 8's HP attack will become Lightning Speed Jab. Lightning Speed Jab is a one hit melee brave plus HP attack that pretty much just does a lot of damage. Um, it also has a plus variant, which we'll get into a little bit later. Uh, but just for you guys to know now, it does a lot of damage at its base uh, kit though, um, right here. All right, so eight skill three or crystal level 65 is Brave Up Buff Long, which raises his brave base on the attack. And it also extends the duration of current buffs by two turns, but really only one because the use will count as a turn so it'll say two and then it'll go back down to one essentially all right and just like all crystal level 65s it has no action delay and does not increase the turn count out of summon and friend support actions so that means if you use a friend support 
or you're in a summon and you see that summon actions you use as crystal level 65 it's pretty much going to take up a turn um, from from the counter essentially okay so eight skills one and two in crystal level 65 and ex even at the base stats is interest interesting to me you know i really like what he brings to the table from just looking at it however eight crystal level 55 and 60 skills are where he really really turns up the heat and we're about to go over those next so eight crystal level 55 is quick bolt stance extend which does a ton of different things so when using quick bolt stance it increases the number of brave hits to two tremendously raises the total brave potency that he has uh, stolen brave can now overflow up to 100 percent of max brave and extends the duration of quick bolt by four turns when using his hp attack plus it increases the number of hits to two and greatly raises the total brave potency while using lightning light speed jab Raises Brave based on the attack before attacking. Increase the number of Brave hits to two. Greatly raises total Brave potency. Stolen Brave can overflow to 120% of max Brave. And it also inflicts large defense down for two turns after breaking a target or attacking a broken target. It does a lot, guys. Just bear with me, all right? So then when using Brave Attack Plus, it greatly raises the total Brave potency. Turns Light, light Speed Jab into Light Speed Jab Plus. And what Light Speed Jab Plus is, it extends the duration of the current buff by one turn. It has no action delay, does not increase the turn count unless you're in a friend support or you're in a summon. And then it turns back into Lightning Speed, Light Speed Jab after use. I cannot say that word right. <laughs> Forgive me, guys. All right. And then we have 8's Crystal Level 60, which is Indomitable Rush Extend, which when using Indomitable Rush, it increases the number of Brave hits to 5, which tremendously raises the total Brave potency. Then Stolen Brave can now overflow to 150% of his max Brave and extends the duration of last stand by four turns. So, 8's Crystal Level 70 is uh, Brave Up Buff Long Extend, which just like all 70 Crystal Level skills, it increases the effect of the Crystal Level 65 by slightly raising the max Brave for three turns. It's pretty much the gimmick. Everybody's Crystal Level 65 will be basically be uh, strengthened with this actual uh, Level 70 Crystal Level. Alright, so since I am super hyped for 8, I will be aiming for his entire kit and realizing as soon as possible, as, if I have the resources, boom, he's done. Alright, <laughs> I'm not playing around, guys. 8 is he's that important to me just because of how great he was in JP for me. Um, so I'm definitely going to add him to my roster here. But in the meantime, let's take a look at 8's weapons and armor. Alright, so starting with his 15 CP, which is the Silver Knuckle, which when equipped and using Quick Bolt Stand, it raises the Brave Potency. Raises Brave Gain based on attack and improves the effects of the Quick Bolt. Alright, so it's 8's 35 CP, which is the Killer Knuckle, which when equipped and using Indomitable Rush, it will raise his Brave Potency and improves Max Brave and attack up effects of Last Stand. And then we have the CP 35 Armor Black Belt and the CP 90 Warrior Ring that supplies 8 with some extra increases to HP, Defense, Initial Brave, and Max Brave. That's pretty much your standard amongst... Um, all units that actually have their 35 uh, CP armor and 90 CP armor. But yeah, we're going to continue on. So 8's EX weapon is the Heavy Knuckle, which grants 8 the ability to use the Phantom Rush EX ability. And we're going to we're gonna go into a little bit more in depth with 8's EX in the following slides, guys. Alright, so 8's Heavy Knuckle, before realization, grants 8 the ability to obviously use the Phantom Rush EX, which is a 4 hit melee brave plus HP attack which Stolen Brave can also overflow to 120% of Max Brave. It has a normal recast speed, which is great for 8 to dish out, you know, heavy amounts of damage consistently every 2 to 3 turns or so. At uh, 1 out of 3 Limit Breaks, it grants Phantom Rush power, which slightly raises the Brave damage dealt with a Phantom Rush. It also grants the Phantom Rush buff for 2 turns. At 2 out of 3 Limit Breaks, it grants Phantom Rush buff plus, which grants an invasion rate up of 100%. And when invading an enemy attack, it will counter with the Break Sight Blow, which is a 6-hit melee Brave plus HP attack that ignores defense, alright? Uh, it's pretty important there. Stolen Brave can now overflow up to 120% while using this at 2 out of 3 Limit Break. Alright, and then at 3 out of 3 Limit Break, it grants Phantom Rush Recast Up, which obviously slightly raises the recast speed of Phantom Rush. So this EX is quick, but gets even better when it when it's MLB and then realize and then it's MLB again. Alright, so realizing heavy knuckle will further grant eight some additional abilities that further maximizes his utility. So for realizing heavy knuckle, it will grant eight uh, with Phantom Extend that improves the EX ability Phantom Rush for 20 CP. And at zero out of three limit break, it grants Phantom Rush Force Advance, 
which when using Phantom Rush, moderately raises the Brave potency, slightly raises max Brave overflow limit. At one out of three limit break, it grants Phantom Extend attack boost up, which slightly raises the max Brave and moderately raises his attack. At two out of three limit breaks, it grants a Quick Bolt and Phantom Rush buff start, which when the quest starts, it grants Quick Bolt for eight turns and grants Phantom Rush buff for two turns. So when using Phantom Rush, um, it increases the number of Brave hits to six, tremendously raises the total Brave potency and moderately raises his max Brave overflow limit, guys. He's, I'm telling you, his guy's gonna hit like a truck, okay? And this is only at two out of three limit break, all right? So at three out of three limit break, it grants Phantom Rush and Break Sight Blow Brave Hit plus Force Advance. Say that three times fast, guys. It's, <laughs> it's a lot, all right? So when using Break Sight Blow or the counter attack, it increases the number of Brave Hits to eight, and then moderately raises the total Brave Potency in general, and slightly raises the max Brave Overflow limit. Okay, guys, I'm telling you, this guy is crazy. This is why I'm, I'm super excited for him because uh, I, mean, I, I do know that Machina has a counter attack, but his just does brave damage, but 8 is doing brave damage, and then he's he's hitting the enemy with an HP attack. And sometimes, if you build his brave right, it can hit like 70, 80, sometimes not even 99k, alright? It's crazy, alright? <laughs> this is why I'm telling you, realize his EX weapon when you get it. But that's just me, guys. Play obviously how you guys want. 8 sphere type is A, and it's evasion, attack short. Which, when invading an enemy attack, raises the attack by 20% for three turns, but it does not stack with the same sphere, okay? I highly recommend you guys just put this sphere on him, just because it's pretty much going to be the most, does the most damage for him. It raises the attack by 20% for those three turns um, when he evades, and he has an evasion buff. Um, not, not every other unit will have a consistent evasion buff that uses 100%. I do know we'll probably get a couple more uh, characters that will have that down the line. But for now, I would highly recommend just putting this on him. Um, I know in JP as well, they do have the uh, Seer Shop. So don't think just because you use it, you won't be able to get another one, especially if you don't pull on the EX weapon. It's down the line, guys. Just, just be patient, essentially, all right? So additionally, this banner is what JP got when 8 was released. And King also came with his EX weapon. And from what I've seen, it's pretty useful. Um, I'm not really a big King fan. But for those that are a King main or do like King, this is going to be the time to get his EX weapon. Um, just for you guys to know, he will execute the EX weapon twice whenever it is realized. So if you're definitely thinking about doing it, uh, his EX weapon will definitely help you guys out and be really useful for your, for your uh, team. So here's a look at the stat artifact passives um, for 8 right here. For stats, I would recommend 108, max brave 330. Um, but for unique passes, I would aim for a Justice Driven Young Pugilist Boost 2 star. Um, I would recommend an artifact pass a combination of Attack 108 or Max Brave 330 and Justice uh, Drive Young Pugilist Boost. Whichever combination you can get with those three would work uh, well for him. So, should you pull? Alright, here's the biggest thing. So, I know the month of February is filled with a bunch of different units that bring a lot of unique qualities to the game. Iggy. And the second global first, Aranea, are right around the corner. Gobez is out here throwing meters at everything. Renora will be soon as well. Irvine gets good with his EX weapon during the Renora Lost chapter. Also receiving Gao at the back end of the month. Not to mention Zach gets his EX plus, which turns him to an even turns him even more of a monster. Um, I mean, there are a lot of units that I am sure you guys want to get and try and try to max out this month. How the question is: Is eight good for you? And I would say yes and no at the same time. All right, so eight, he's just that great single target damage dealer that brings a unique kit to the game. His counter, his counters make him dangerous and lethal outside of the massive amounts of brave that he can dump out with his regular skills and HP attack. If you have Tifa though, she will be a great alternative. Um, if you want to get other units first before maxing eight out, if you plan on it, Golbez, Sephiroth, Zach are able to dish out serious numbers to to boot as well. So. Don't think just because you didn't pull eight that you won't be able to clear some of the content coming up down the line. He's not that kind of character. He's just really, he's just a really fun character. Um, but if you're like me, I'm going straight for eight. <laughs> uh, mainly because he helped me out so much, helped me clear so much content in the JP version of the game uh, when he was first released. And I just fell in love with him as a character. So, I mean, you guys should know if you need him, but not for sure. I would say though, Iggy has a, uh, quite the unique kit. Not to mention, we're still waiting for the details of our Aeneas kit as well. So just to make sure everybody plans accordingly, I wouldn't just say just go ahead and throw everything away or throw all your resources into one unit. Especially if you're hyped about other, other units coming down the line. 
Um, but regardless, I wish you guys luck if you decide to pull for eight. He's a great unit, like I said, and I'm sure he'll be an asset to your party for much of the future content that's ahead of us, guys. So in closing, guys, this month is jam-packed with tons of content and really powerful units that will definitely change your game. Uh, this is just a start, though. There are even more unique characters on the way as well, so keep your eyes peeled, all right? But anyway, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and are just as excited for 8 like I am. I can't wait for him to be released so I can throw these gems at his kit. <laughs> Uh, but if you guys enjoyed the video, please leave a like and a comment. If you guys are new here, please consider subscribing. Hit that bell icon for notifications of my next video. I have been KDG. Hope you guys are having a fantastic day. Thanks again for watching. And remember to always walk tall, my friends. I'll see you in my next video, guys. So, guys, at the time of making this video, um, JP did get the release or re-release of 8. Got his lost chapter. And he's going to be doing some crazy things. So... Before we officially end the video, take a look at this uh, quick video showcasing what he's going to be doing later down the line once he comes back around. Uh, let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys. Let's <laughs> go.